Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to I am going to explain you 14 important test scenarios or test cases that you can adopt or apply in any of the mobile app testing when you are doing for any mobile apps. Before moving further to understand which are those 14 test scenarios or test cases. If you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox as in when we publish our new video. So let us move further and understand what are those 14 important test scenarios. The first scenario for any mobile app, the first scenario for any mobile app which you would be required to do is go to Play Store or go to App Store based on the iOS or Android, you should go to the respective Play Store and download that app and install that app on your mobile. That is the first basic test for any mobile app testing you should perform. You have to download and install that app and see it downloads without having an issue and it should install in your mobile without having an issue. That is the first important test scenario you will be performing for mobile app testing. The second one is, so once the app has been installed on your mobile and you should open that mobile app you should open that mobile app across various different mobile devices just to ensure that whether the app installed across various different devices is really opens up or not even if it opens up can the display of that app is appropriate or not for across all different combinations of mobile devices that is the second important test scenario you should perform. The third is uh, the element which is present on the mobile app including the text. The text, you should ensure that any text, any text items on the mobile screen or app that should be readable format and very clear and crisp manner. The text should be very clear when you are opening up the mobile app. And you should also verify your mobile apps for different kinds of display that should be, that could be landscape or it could be portrait. If you are just rotating your mobile devices, your app should work appropriately or seamlessly without having an issue even if you are moving around any of this display format, either it is a landscape or a portrait. This is the fourth important test scenarios. The fifth important test scenario is verify that the app is still op operates. You should verify, let's say you are not using your mobile phone for a certain period where your mobile is inactive or you might have locked your screen. When you become an active, when you open your mobile screen, then you should see that app should still work. It should not uh, stop working irrespective whether you are in active mode or you have locked the screen of the mobile. If you would have opened the app, then it should continue to operate without having any challenges. This is the fifth important test scenario for a mobile app testing. The sixth important test scenario for mobile app testing is if you move on to any of the text fields or any input fields, wherever there is an input field, if you try to input the value, then there should be an on-screen keyboard should appear. When you try to place a cursor, if it is an editable field, then you should get an on-screen keyboard to enter input value. That is the sixth important test scenario. Seventh important test scenario is what happens when the battery is very low. Let's say 5% or 10% of your battery only left. 
how your app is going to behave is your app mobile app is going to completely behave totally differently or is it going to behave a normal way that is the verification you should perform as a second as a seventh test scenario the eighth would be whenever you open the app and you operating few things there suddenly you get a call suddenly you get a phone call then you pick that call and you you speak to the other person then you disconnect the call then you 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 came back to your app and you try to continue your work after that then you should see your app should not hang your app should seamlessly work even after you picking the call or disconnect the call or do any operation in between your application should continue to work in a very effective manner this is the eighth important test scenario the ninth important test scenario is whenever you are operating on this mobile app suddenly if any different messages comes like pop up messages it could be facebook messages or amazon messages or instagram messages or your whatsapp messages or it could be your mobile messages if any of these message pop ups comes still your mobile app should work seamlessly and if it is not working then you should lock the defect this is the ninth important test scenario the tenth important test scenario is you should verify your mobile app with a wifi connectivity you should put it a wifi connection in a different uh, speed and you should test how your mobile app is going to work with the different conditions of wifi network that is very important these days because uh, everybody using mobile app and everybody will have wifi at their home and we wanted to see how it behaves differently in different network conditions when you are using wifi the 11th important test scenario is you should verify your application you should verify your mobile application across different oss because your app you are not only going to implement on android you will also be deploying it on ios microsoft and so on because we do not know what kind of uh, people you are going to use this mobile app hence most of the mobile apps will be getting implemented across this different operating systems so that there is no restriction for any of the end user who would like to use your app they can go to the respective stores and they can download and install your app the 12th important uh, test scenario for mobile app testing is this is very crucial you should once you are opening your mobile app and when you are performing different operation the loading of each screen or each page or a respond time of the app it should be very as per the industry standard it should not take more than 2 or 3 seconds if it is taking more than 3 seconds that means it is not giving a right response to the end user and it creates lot of frustration in their in their mind and immediately they will uninstall your mobile app hence it is always you should verify that your loading time and response time in, should be in a reasonable fashion the third important uh, test scenario is you should keep testing the option of updating your app when you are updating your app your software should keep working as usual and and see is there any challenge is there any dependency is there any conflict will happen when you are updating the for your app and for any other software then the fourth one is verify the battery test the battery test is very crucial these days because everybody likes to have their mobile phone goes for a couple of days once it is getting charged if your mobile app itself it is going to consume lot of battery and it is going to drain the battery within few minutes or few hours of usage of your mobile app then nobody like your mobile app immediately they will uh, uninstall your app hence the testing with the different conditions on your battery test is very crucial it's a bonus 
I am going to give a 15th uh, test scenario. The 15th test scenario is you should test your mobile app across different uh, mobile network conditions. It could be 1G, it could be 2G, it could be 3G, 4G. In future, there is a 5G is also going to come. Your application should work seamlessly irrespective of usage of any of these network conditions. If your mobile app is not behaving properly any of these uh, network condition let's say you are using a mobile phone within the inside the building or if you are using inside the tunnel right or remote places still your application should work seamlessly on whatever the network conditions you have on the ground i hope you are able to understand all these 15 important test scenarios which you are going to test for any mobile app these are the very basic these are very basic and these are very important test scenarios that would be applicable for any mobile app which you will be testing in this world hope you really enjoyed watching this video if you enjoyed watching this video then definitely click on the like button and if you visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then definitely please click on subscribe and bell notification thanks for watching this video bye for now take care